Hello, Nadella here. Today we're saying goodbye to 2022. And yes, I'm making a ceremony of this. <laughs> goodbye, 2022. It's kind of bulky. Hello to 2023. I decided on this journal for a couple of reasons. Um, for one, it's one of the newer um, journals from Archer and Olive that has the flat spine so that it does better sitting, okay, demonstrate, it does better sitting on its spine. Um, I also have some binder clips on the way, they just haven't come yet, but I like the way that it sits better than the other journals, so that was one reason. Um, another was the color. I, I'm aware that there's a spider web on it. This is one of the Halloween releases, but um, honestly, the spider web doesn't necessarily say Halloween to me. Um, I ma mainly chose this journal because of the spine and because my daughter told me. Um, since my word for 2023 is intentional, um, she asked me what types of things I wanted to be intentional about. Long story short, one of them is productivity. And she said, spiders are really productive creatures. I'm terrified of them, but they're productive creatures. <laughs> so she said this one screamed produ producti productivity to her. So there we have it. The color to me speaks winter. We're heading into winter now. Um, the spider is productive and the spine sits flat. So that's why we picked this one. Um, so this will be my journal from January to June for the year. If things go as planned, which they don't always, but if things go as planned, that's what's going to happen. So we're going to start here. Um, I haven't thought of how I wanted to put in my name here, um, but I think I'm gonna use this gold Uniball Signa. Um, since I have it right behind me. And actually, I need to go get something, but let me go ahead and write in my name. All right, so I don't know yet until editing um, if this will be in on camera, um, but I have my markers here in front of me. I recently reorganized them. Um, I've got to give credit to Planning with Brie. Um, I think it was a short on uh, either a short on YouTube or a reel on Instagram. I saw that she had done this with her uh, Crayola Super Tips. Um, and it's it was genius so I did the same um, I took them and numbered them because these don't come with numbers or names or anything um, I numbered them and then I went through and swatched them because the lids on them are deceiving <laughs> it's hard to tell what color it is until you color with it so I created this little swatch here and on the other side as well of all 100 colors so yeah um, I have that and my markers here so moving on I don't know if I'm gonna keep all this because we're what nine minutes in and I'm just talking um, I'm gonna skip this page I think a lot of people do because it's kind of awkward and because I'm gonna have a two page cover what I want to do, I decided that my theme for the year, and this may change, I may get to March and decide I don't want to do this anymore, but my goal from right now is that the theme for the year is going to be wreaths um, along with whatever the flower of the month is for that month. So um, my cover page, I want to do a lot of loose leaf and petals going on kind of coming down. I don't know if I want them to all come down like this or or come from both 
areas. Either way, I'm gonna write my word of the year, intentional. I'm gonna put intentional in, and here do 2003 in a wreath, and do a kind of Dutch door there. So that's what I'm gonna get started on now. And I will probably fast forward through this. do the Dutch door I changed my mind I was gonna do but on the other page is gonna be a future log and I need both pages for that so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna save the Dutch door idea for the month each monthly cover page that I do um, I'll do the Dutch door on if it suits my spreads um, which I think it will because I'll just have a calendar on the next page and the calendar doesn't need to be I don't need as much space for a month's calendar as I do for the future log so let's redo this we're going to do the 2023 in the middle but I need something I want a big wreath here so I will be right back Is that centered? And then we'll do 2023 there in the center. So, to get started, I want to use... What do I think? I think I like it. It's my cover page for 2023. That makes me very, very, very happy.
All right, so let me put these markers back where they go, and then we'll be right back for the future log, which should be quick. Future log. I'm gonna split the page in half. It'd be great if I had my ruler, and I have no idea where it's at. Um, you know what? Not gonna bother with the ruler. I was gonna split the page in sections, but I'm not even gonna bother with it. I'm just gonna start up here. Even though this journal is going to be January through June, I do want to have the whole year because you never know when stuff gets planned for ahead of time at the beginning of the year. I can always just transfer it to the future log in the next journal. So we're just going to start. I'm going to be brave and I'm going to go in <laughs> with the Micron straight away so I don't have to erase as much. I am going to keep my pencil nearby just in case I second guess myself, but I think I can do this with the pen. So we're going to start off with the face of the week. All right. I already know January starts. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. OK. It feels so weird to be doing this without drawing it out in pencil first. <sighs> I just don't want to have to go through any race. I did it. Okay, I feel better. Now there's a little bit of deco. I probably should have kept those markers out for, I should have, I should have kept those markers out for decoration, but we'll get back to that. Let me go ahead and do the speed through doing the calendars and then we'll come back to decorating. So let I love this. I love my future log. I think it looks great. Very, very happy with that. So the next two spreads are going to be very simple. Um, one of them, I actually need to refer to my old one. Um, this may be an uncomfortable topic for some people, but it's something that I have kept track of um, since I started my bullet journal last year. Um, I got the idea from Plant Based Bride. Um, I'm not going to go into full details on it, um, but it's basically uh, my period tracker, and I'm going to continue it um, this year. So, one of the pages is going to be affirmations, and the other page is going to be period trackers. Um, I decided when I did affirmations and gratitude in December that I would include them in actually the yearly setup. So that we can just do it for the whole year, um, or for at least half of the year anyway, since this is for a half a year, the journal. Um, 
and not included in the monthly spreads because my affirmations aren't going to change throughout the month. I'm just going to keep track of them for the whole year. Um, and then same thing with gratitude. I'm just going to keep track of that yearly as opposed to monthly. So um, those will be yearly spreads. <laughs> I can't keep things straight in my brain right this second. Okay, so I'm going to do affirmations here. What did I do with my graph here it is so I'm gonna do affirmations here yay okay so that's that and then I will take this no Emma let me see what 34 looks like. That's what's so good about these. Okay, so this is a nice vibrant color. I'm actually going to use 64. Let me find 64. There's 64. I'm going to use 64 to mark my lines. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to do this straight without turning my book, like I always, always do. Um, I've mentioned this before in a video. I just do these lines like this. Um, I have seen these obviously on other people's spreads. I did not come up with this. Um, I'm not sure why other people do it, to be honest. I, I haven't done any research or anything, but I personally do it because I find that it keeps me writing straight. Um, sometimes I can tend to ignore the dot grid, like when I <laughs> wrote out affirmations. Um, nothing wrong with that, um, but when I'm trying to keep a running list, um, I will either use bullets to keep myself in a straight line, or I will color in these lines like this. Um, so that I'm keeping straight lines, but I'm also, I also have a little bit of a decorative element. So that's why I do these lines here when I do a list of something. So my gratitude pages will look like this too. Um, I say gratitude pages, I have a goal for this year since my word is intentional to be really intentional about finding um, things that I'm grateful for. I think it's very important to remember um, with the mental health conditions that we suffer from, it is very important for me to try to refocus on positive things, affirmations, gratitude. Um, I have to reinforce myself positively or I can go down a very dark path. So, um, whereas the affirmations are just, I just have one page. I don't plan on having a whole list. I don't plan on filling this all the way out. I want to write as many as I can and then find a key five of them to repeat to myself every day. Um, and then maybe the following month I'll find another five to repeat to myself every day. But affirmations, I don't need to be as long. Gratitude, I want to find as many things as I can this year to be grateful for. So that's why that'll be a two-page spread. Um, for my period tracker, I am looking over at last year's tracker um, for guidance. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm actually not going to do... It's so big this time. I'm just going to write out up here. It's a little bit funny on the thickness of these letters here and there. It was hard to do it here on the edge of the page. I might go back and fix that later, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Let me see. So on the 7th and 8th is where I put in the days of the month. So I wrote... Let's 
this is where I'll um, jot down my my codes. So, like I mentioned before, I got this idea from Plant Based Bride. I will do dots here all the way down for the days in each month, and then um, I use I in particular use stickers to note start date, end date, and then I have other symptoms that I track with this. Um, and I put those on the dot for each day. So for example, January has 31 days, so that's going to be, if I did this right, that's going to be all the way down to the bottom. So one, two, three, made it. 31. So the, the days will start right at the bottom of these letters. Okay. So that's okay. I've got 31 there for January. For February, it's going to be 28. So 31, 30, 29. February is going to start here. Oh, I will just wipe that out. No problem. Twenty-eight. March has 31. I know that because mom's birthday is the 31st <laughs> of March. Speeding up or not speeding up the video. <laughs> April has 30. I stopped myself because I was almost not paying attention there. All right, so there's my period tracker, my affirmations page. I feel like I need to redo that. It's bugging me. Like maybe I should have done it with the broad end. It's kind of off too, but there's nothing I can do about that. All I can do is try to, let me try to fix it and hope I don't regret it. So my camera stopped recording, um, no biggie, I just, I think that's all you missed was rewriting that. Um, not perfect, but I like it better now. Um, the other thing was that I just went back and looked through what I have so far. Um, interestingly, not so interesting, really, <laughs> it's just fun fact, really. Um, green is my favorite color. so. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. It was not my intention to do a green theme. Um, I knew that I was going to do a basic wreath um, just to get the year started because wreath, wreaths are going to be the theme moving forward throughout the year, if I can keep up with it. Um, but I had not intended to have such a green theme <laughs> for the general um, year spreads so I'm really happy that that's just how it turned out um, because I love love green so I finished those two um, I just have two more spreads for my year and that'll be it for this video and then my next video I'll go ahead and film today as well um, to do my January my January thing okay so this one is going to be and I'm not sure how I want to do this one just yet. It's going to be my order tracking. I know I want to do a chart. Um, I think I'm just going to pull a few different green markers to do this. Um, I'm going to write out order tracking right here. I think what I'm going to do is just do a space for item description and then do three small spaces where I have the date that I ordered, or maybe I should do the date that I ordered first, the description, and then two smaller spaces to have um, expected delivery and actual delivery. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to need the same colors I've been using so far. Um, but I, I got to find a ruler. So I will be right back. I'm going to go get a ruler. Another thing that you missed, I just remembered that I was thinking about decorating this top portion the way that I did future log to keep that going. But I decided not to um, because since I brought in this brighter green, I feel like it doesn't need it. So I, I didn't bother doing that. And this is going to get stickered up, so it doesn't need it either. Um, 
I might continue the theme on order tracking, but let me see if I can find a ruler. Um, I had lost mine and I had been using my daughter's and now I've lost hers as well. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. As I got up, I started to remember that I'd grabbed my daughter's ruler. Um, I didn't realize that her name was on it, so I'll probably blur that out. Um, anyways, I remember putting her ruler in my big purse for when we went on vacation. Um, last week, we went down to Florida to see my sister. And um, I didn't know if we were going to be doing any planning parties because my sister is very much a planner too. She's the one that introduced me to Happy Planner in 2021, which is what got me down to this, you know, down the path to this. <laughs> um, so I had packed a bunch of planning things because uh, my daughter was like, you know, you and Thithi are gonna <laughs> sit down and plan. So I, I took the ruler, so that's where that was. Um, not sure why I needed a short story time, but you know, here we are. Um, you know, I just thought about, I just looked over and I remembered that I told myself before I got started here to use some washi. <laughs> I need to use some washi. That's what I can use to decorate since I didn't continue here. I mean, since I continued here with this thing, but I didn't here, I can use a few, few pieces of washi, right? What do you think? Is that doing too much? Is that taking it in a different direction? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the washi alone. I feel like that's going to be taking it in a different direction, but I feel like I've got to tie this in with these. Maybe I need to add this bright green color over there. Maybe that's what it is. What did I use? This one? Yeah. I used 34. Um, I'm sorry to keep going back and forth. I'm really indecisive as it is, and I've been having a week. <laughs> I'm having a day, and... This is all that's making me happy. So I think I'm going to add this for a little bit more color. Um, what shape do I want to do? Maybe just let's keep it simple and do some dots. Let's do that. I don't think that's the same color. Is that the same color? It's not. It wasn't 34. What color was it then? I know. We can use our swatch. Our swatch thingy. It was 64, wasn't it? Was it 44 or 64? I want to say it was 64. So, what did I just say, 64? <laughs> so there's 44. That's 54. Maybe it was 44 because I can't find 64 now. Here's 64. So maybe it was this one. Yeah. All right, so let's use that to brighten this up. There. I think that looks nice. I like that. I like that. Now it looks more finished, I think, than it did before. Let's add some here. There. That looks nice, right? I think that looks better. I think that brightens it up a little bit without overdoing it. And now this, I almost feel like I've got to dull it down. <laughs> um, somehow. I said I was going to leave it alone. I mean, I feel like this one I can because I'll use, like I said, I'll use stickers, but this, I feel like, as a whole, these two pages. Okay, I don't want to waste time. We're going to move on, and I'll deal with that later. Let's consider... Okay, so we're going to start here on the edge of the page. We only need two spaces for a date, right? So that said, then we can do like that. I don't need that much space for writing out ordering, so we'll start here. We'll use 
Set up for order date, description, or item or whatever. Actual delivery, expected delivery. Okay, and we can stop right here at the bottom. I think that's good. All right, so let's take our micron and fast forward getting these lines drawn in. We're going to use both of these so that it's bright and dull. <laughs> um, let's see. We're going to do... I'm hoping I don't regret this because I've never done this before, but I'm going to try it. Okay. That way it brightens it up, but not too much. And then this is what I'm going to use again to keep the line straight. It's kind of like... I don't know if they do these anymore, but is anybody watching old enough to remember <laughs> um, check registers? You know what I'm talking about? Like when you opened up a, an account, they gave you a little book of checks with a little register to keep track of your money <laughs> that most of us didn't use and let our accounts overdraw. And then our dad got mad because you should have been keeping track of your money via your check register like he taught you. No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> oh. My dad. May he rest in peace. He would get so mad at me when I overdrew my account because, dude, like I, I taught you how to use this thing. When I open this account for you, like, <laughs> he wasn't wrong. I was not, and still sometimes am not, very responsible with money. I felt like, um, I know this is kind of dumb, but I felt like as a teenager, if they didn't teach us to, teach us to do it in school, like, was it really that important? Which now I feel kind of the opposite. Oh, I feel like if it was taught in school, we probably don't need it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to teachers out there. Um, seriously, no offense intended by that. I think our teachers, most of them anyway, are doing a fabulous job. They're doing what they can with what they've got. Teachers are very hardworking, so that's not the point of what I'm saying. Um, I'm just saying that as a teenager, I thought the wrong thing about keeping track of money. And it used to drive my dad crazy. Um, he would get very, very upset. Like, seriously, you're just giving... I remember that's what he used to say. He was like, you're just basically giving the, the bank money. Why are you just giving your money away to the bank? Because, you know, you, you get overdraft fees um, every single time you overdraft it. So now, now, now you not only owe the money that you overdrafted to the bank, but you also owe them fees. He was like, you're just giving them money for free. Just giving free money away. If you've got so much money that you can just give money away, you know. <laughs> oh, Dad. I miss him. So, yeah. This is what that reminds me of. That is what this reminds me of. Of a old check register. But, I think Dad would be proud now that I am doing what I can to keep track of of not just my spending, but many things in my life. There's all that noise that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that you might hear. 
what in the world are they doing? <laughs> All right, so there's my order tracking spread. Here again, I might go in and fill that in with some stuff to keep this going. We'll see. Okay, final spread for this video, and then I'm gonna take a break before I film January. I might not even film January today, I might film it um, in a few days, because uh, I've got some other stuff I gotta do today too. I wanna make sure I get it done. Anyways, um, final spread is gratitude. So we're gonna do like this, and technically like this too. Um, but we're going to do two pages of it. So now the question is, do I want to put gratitude in the center? I think I do. I was going to do gratitude here and then, but I want to center it. Okay. So let's start with that word. I think that looks good. Okay. Okay. Now let's try a different color that's kind of in between these two for the actual line. Since we already did this color and we already did this bright color, what other color do we want to use? Maybe... I want it to be light enough to, to write on it. Maybe this one. Let's see. That'll do. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. have it okay so in drawing those lines out I decided I do want to do a little something but I'm not gonna continue each of the um, shapes I'm literally just going to spatter dots and dashes of those colors um, because I don't I'm gonna be honest I don't feel like grabbing every single one of those colors back out um, that I used before so I'm just gonna grab these these are generally what I was using and I'm just gonna put a few dots a few dashes and call it a day so it still kind of looks cohesive we've got the same colors going on and then that's it that's it it doesn't need to be that serious There we have it. There is my 2023 spread. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't speak. We are going to be intentional in 2023. Here's my future log. Affirmations and period tracker order tracking and gratitude. I'm very, very, very happy with this. The only thing is my future log. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I know it was loud. I've been holding that back for some time. Um, <laughs> my future log, the only thing is, is the, the headers for the month are bothering me. This is kind of plain, so I'm gonna go through with this marker and just write over them and then I'll be done. I promise, no more. No more correcting. There, that's much better. I feel better about that. And now I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging in here with me today. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. What did you do for your theme for 
2023 did you even do a theme um are you set up yet i waited pretty late i think to get my setup started um i want to know where you are <laughs> in your bullet journal or planning um journey for next year um give me a like if you like this video and subscribe see what we've got coming up this year um like I keep saying, I'm going to be intentional in 2023, so I'm really looking forward to what I have coming. So subscribe to see more, and um, thanks again for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.